feels good to wonder what I'm doing here. Feels right, getting smashed with God all night. Relax, exploit my mind. Teach his own king within his own tribe. Define for me, free at last. We are history. No, Jekyll shouldn't have to hide Who are you? Who am I? What is it that makes a girl a girl and a guy a guy? That's all I thought about this week. When asked, people's answers as to what makes them their gender were pretty much all traits that were indeed generalized male and female characteristics, but with the exception of having a period and having babies, the traits were pretty much all interchangeable. Guys are strong and take control. They get away without making themselves pretty. They don't have to show emotion and have control over those feelings. While girls get to wear skirts and makeup and paint their nails. These were the most common answers people gave me, which makes them their gender. Then I asked for more, because the answers I were getting were pretty lame. Finally, some of the more in-depth responses came from the women that I interviewed. Being a girl, not being taken seriously, getting harassed, and having to put on makeup. Also when asked, neither gender said that they would ever want to switch roles. Guys liked the control, and girls said they enjoyed the attention. Most women said that being female is often confusing, whereas no guy repeated that statement. Most males said that being a guy means getting to have sexual benefits, whatever that means, whereas no girl repeated that statement. Many women also claim to benefit from being comforted and protected by men, while feeling insecure and unsafe when walking alone, something guys rarely stop to think about. So from what I've gathered, guys do less emotionally and more physically and are happy. Girls do more emotionally and less physically, and are happy. Girls answer questions using emotions. Guys use logic. So is being a girl a package of entities? Do I have to do so many things from each category in order to be considered female? Even though I say I'm a girl, society says otherwise. Yet if I paint my nails, wear a dress, how many people will start seeing me as a girl? Say I'm all done. I sound, looked, act, talk, walk, think, everything that society says is girl, yet I used to be a guy. When they find out, will I no longer be the total female that they initially thought? When I'm done, am I supposed to just forget the fact that I used to be a guy? Wouldn't that be a lie? Is it really as simple as a few surgeries and a hormone imbalance that I need to fix to be the woman that I feel I am? Girls often wonder why life is so unfair to them, but never fully question their gender. Maybe being trans or gay simply means that we do think about gender. If I paint my nails, cross my legs, shave my body hair, raise my voice, grow and style my hair, dress up, wear makeup, am I merely tricking society into thinking I'm a girl? Am I doing so only to get treated like a female? Or am I really a girl and only doing so to feel comfortable? No one asked to be a certain gender when they were born, but now that I'm self-aware, I am asking. And despite the apparently negative aspects of being a woman, I still want to continue down this path. I wouldn't think twice about stepping down to have what women overall woefully described as having to dress up, don't want to be unattractive, but then complain when gawked at, yet still love the attention. To feel unsafe alone, to not be taken seriously and suffer constant sexual harassment, persecution if you're too ugly, and pressure if you're too sexy. To be perceived as weaker and be treated as such. To want to be sexy enough to get the attention of men, but then be called a slut after taking advantage of that interest, only to sit there alone in the end, confused as hell. It almost seems to outweigh the fulfillment the change is supposed to bring, yet that is still the life I feel I belong to. But then girls don't work on cars in normal society. I, however, enjoy showing off, 
getting greasy, spitting, talking dirty, and chatting about the people I've slept with. All no-nos if it's my goal to fit into society after I change. Am I to stop working on my car so not to be outed? Should I change, but just tell everyone that I'm trans? Or should I simply try to fool the world? Once I'm done with this, all I want is to be treated as any other girl is treated. But in order to accomplish that, I'm going to have to assimilate into the role that society has deemed to be the norm for female behavior. Now, I'm still not sure I can answer what makes us our genders. Um, penises and vaginas? I honestly don't have a retort to this question which was obviously plaguing me back then. And to be honest, I simply don't think about it anymore. I'd have to say that both men and women's traits are all interchangeable. The only difference is that girls have the babies. I've met the most flamboyant and catty men in my travels, but I've also met the most manly and cold-hearted, emotionally void women as well. I've met guys that were as gentle as girls, and girls that were as rough as guys. Counter-stereotypes most certainly do exist. There will always be pigeonholes that the collective is expected to pass through, miss one, and you'll certainly be called on it. In an absolute reality where humans would be no different from animals, again, the only difference would be that girls have the pussies and get fucked by the guys with the dicks. Unfortunately, though, humans do have such things as language, self-awareness, a conscience, a sense of social standing, logic, and opposable thumbs. We create things. We take ore from the ground and make it into space shuttles that explore the universe, something that no other being on this planet is capable of doing. We can reason and be reasoned with. I truly doubt that any other species on this planet is as complex as are we. Too widely varied and unique are our capabilities. So perhaps that's the only reason there are both males and females, that being on the basis of reproduction. Anything beyond that is subject to interpretation. If you want to fit into society, you will ultimately have to follow at least some of the stereotypes. Otherwise, you may simply find yourself with no one to pair up with. Maybe our gender-specific ballets are the equivalent to a colors on a bird's feathers, which are meant to attract potential mates. Or even like frogs in a pond, where the loudest croak receives the call to breed.